Okay, so the next phase after setting the mealworms up, <clears throat> after letting them sit for a while, you'll notice that some turn into these pupas. What you want to do is you want to get the pupas out and put them in a container like that. So just, you know, pick through, grab them, put them in, get them all out. And then we'll go from there. So once all the pupa are out, you just have to wait and they'll eventually turn into beetles. So you just want to pick the pupas out, just like that, put them in the container. Now you can leave them in there if you want, but there is a risk that they could actually get eaten by the mealworms or anything else because they can't really move around. So if you want to be sure that they'll survive, put them in a separate container. Okay, so after a while you'll notice that the beetles are starting to emerge. So what you want to do is you get them out straight away. And then put them in the tub. As you can see I've already got some now, a lot actually. And what I also do, yeah, let's get, the, get this beetle. I also look at the pupas. And the ones like this. that have the red on them on the inside there that's like the forming of legs that means they're gonna emerge as beetles really soon so I'd usually just throw them in anyway and then from there all the beetles will start breeding and then you'll have some baby mealworms hatching out and you keep taking out the pupas if you want. I mean you can leave them in there if you like but sometimes the beetles tend to eat the pupas because the pupas can't move so the beetles just come and eat them. So like I've done this before where you can just leave them in there and it's fine but you know it's up to you. So yeah that's how easy it is to breed mealworms. Thanks for watching.